Only play <laughs> with friends. <laughs> tell half of what I saw, for I knew that people would just be bitches about it, so it's all, it's all my information, but I totally saw it. That's the coolest fucking reveal when he falls out of the train, and yeah. it, it's revealed that not only, not only is it dangling over the edge of a cliff, but there's also the monkey from Donkey Kong Country <laughs> throwing <laughs> barrels. It's, it's smiling to its laughing. What's the name of that guy who plays Donkey Kong and everyone loves him for it? Oh, uh, The Rock. Yeah, okay. No, Ooh. that's Rampage. You're thinking of him in the movie Rampage. Right. Uh, no, the guy who... Imagine the Rocky Donkey Kong Are you talking Kong about the guy... The when you hair. say plays Donkey Kong, you mean plays the game Donkey Kong, or do you mean... Or do you mean his voice? Do you mean the guy plays Donkey Kong in, like, the, the CGI animated weird Donkey Kong series? No, I mean the guy who... who he's famous because he, he beat Donkey Kong and broke oh, the game. Oh, I, oh you're talking I do, about I, Adam Sandler from Pixels starring up. Adam Sandler. Shut up. <laughs> I, I, would you... Would you lip... Quiver, if you met the guy who said, Oh, but la la. Oh, <laughs> That's Corey, dude. Uh -oh. That is literally Corey's best. It's you and Corey meeting over a nice cup of brew, talking over about nice, sanity's not included. <laughs> over a nice cartoon <laughs> beer. I'm fucking really tired. I haven't slept in like two days. The You're not know better than anyone. You know better than anyone. You're not better than anyone. This is my big this bimbo. This is my wolf. Shake her hand. <laughs> She's very shaky. <laughs> Look at her oh, belly yeah, button. Oh, got me a, a wiggly bird, yeah? <laughs> you want a wiggle me bird? That's not what you say to Get girls. a right wiggling, eh? Get a nice yogurt, put it in me bird. Like Get all more like wiggly. You guys don't know shit about it's the right British. It's wiggly, isn't it? Uh, but have you our, seen our, that friend, our friend Jules used to, used to be... In the Wiggles. What? God. Yeah, that's no. He says it publicly. He admits it. He yeah, yeah. Well, no, no, not on the show. It, there was like a, a Six tour. Flags or like a Universal Studios. Oh, he's he's at the Wiggle. That's a, that's like if it was Mickey Mouse. What are you talking about? Yeah. <laughs> he was he was the wiggliest Wiggle. He was the wiggliest boy. Even the guy who played Gaston at Disneyland blew his fucking head off with the fire. That's funny, <laughs> the, guy, the, saying... guy put, the guy put an M80 on his fucking brainstem. That's it. Was he in character at the time? I yeah. just, was he like, look how strong I am, he kids? Went, no the, only thing, the only thing I know is like, <laughs> the only thing I know is that that guy, uh, literally there was a video of him going viral as Gaston. Like six months later, he fucking put an M80 on his brainstem and it blew his head off. Was it the dude that did the push-ups? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah the, the, the viral the Gaston. On a person, <laughs> viral gas. He, he fell up. He fell off a mountain after he blew his head up. <laughs> he was, was the was first part of that at time. least true, Zach? Was he, any of that true? Zoom in, zoom in as far as you can and see the little face <laughs> inside of his armpit. You're dead. That's it. Yeah, this dude. For all of his fucking adventures, like You're I, dead. I genuinely, yeah. <laughs> You're shit, dead. Like, obviously. Well, that knocks him out. I, I wish think. his head fell off right there. <laughs> what would you guys do if you woke up with Dan Aykroyd standing over your bed and his eyes were bloodshot and he looked, he looked sick and he was telling you that you had to come with him because... You have to come with me. You have to come with me. The, the, the aliens are invading. It's all real. The aliens are invading. It's, there's, would, a, there's an invading, sure there's an occupying to, force. Am I allowed a camera? He just says that. You don't know. I grab my camera secretly. He grabs it. He crushes it with his fingers. <laughs> Just with his, with his, like, bare strength. What about my phone? Does he know I have a phone? He crushes that too. God damn it. Then I wouldn't do it. But he crushes your wallet. I would only go if, if <laughs> I would have crushed and both he, your and feet and, and, like, dragged you out of your house. And he runs over to your hamster cage and crushes your hamster. I don't have a <laughs> Yeah, Dan Aykroyd will run around your house crushing things with his hands <laughs> until you go with him. And then then you eyes. realize he's unstoppable. You've started something you can't control. One of his eyes bugs house? out and he starts looking around. <laughs> he, what would you do if he tore your door off your head. house? And just crushed it, just crumpled it up. Look at those guys, isn't it? Oh, shut up, you fucking lose. This guy is literally lying. <laughs> Nathan Drake? <laughs> He's literally making shit up. It's not, it's we were work. friends in the third grade. We're the only two people here. Yeah. Why are you saying this shit to me? We both yeah. know it's not true. Grab Top some ten juice. sonic females. Grab some words you said. Sit down and relax. Grab a what nice tall glass say? of OJ he, and <laughs> here we go. He says, uh, you might as well classify the Sonic franchise as hot Gr chick heaven. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I love Gut Tail. Complete video. with a fucking MS Paint <laughs> rendition of Hot Chick Heaven. <laughs> <laughs>
Dang, dude, that actually looked legitimately fucking painful. Like I swung through. Really? His head. I think it just looked really weak and badly animated. <laughs> <laughs> get fucked, Lyle. Yeah, wow. get fucking out. Okay. Get owned, dude. Get owned, you. For context, Zach does this whenever he's within touching range of an animal. I have to do it. The cat is close enough for him to touch, and that was his genuine response to it. I definitely went into my bathroom one time in Ireland, and there was cum on the toilet seat. There was jizz? This is when I was in college, yeah, that happened. Dollops upon dollops? Did you ask anybody about it? No, I did not. What kind of fucking pig comes on the toilet seat? Another time I went to my bathroom in my house, and there was shit on the toilet seat. After one of my friends came like over, smeared? no, an actual little chunk of shit like on the toilet <laughs> seat. Like he shat onto the toilet and didn't even notice and just left. Good. Fucking, yeah. That freaks me out, dude. <laughs> How do you leave like a nugget? I know. I know. <laughs> and I went and I told my mom. I'm like, mom, look at this. And she was like, what the fuck? How was big like, was it? It was like a Malteser. The Master of Disguise. You all know that movie? Yeah. yeah. The turtle club scene was being filmed on 9/11. Yeah, I knew I heard this before. And they gave a moment of silence when he was in the, the fucking turtle, turtle makeup. <laughs> yeah. I remember that just now for no reason. I didn't want to say it out loud to make sure I wasn't being fooled by something, but it's on, it's on the IMDb official trivia page of the fucking movie. That must have felt so. Here's fucking what it says. Dumb. The scene at the Turtle Club happened to be filming on September 11, 2001. <laughs> when word of the terrorist attacks reached the set, the cast and crew observed a moment of silence. There is something I also read about him being in the costume, but that definitely happened on 9-11. <laughs> just imagine him looking down with that little, like, his upper bobbing, lip. His head bobbed. <laughs> <laughs> you think he bobbed and someone was like, I, I think not, when they said not. the towers fell, his head retracted into his suit. <laughs> out of fear. Exactly. Did I just tranquilize this man There's to death? No is he gonna fall like, off? Is he gonna- Ah. Uh, uh, he's gonna get to see his family again. Damn. Oh! 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 Yep! Sad- sad wife and kids! That's a sad <laughs> wife and kids! Tell me this. Yes. Did you watch the Jersey Shore? I never watched the Jersey Shore. Zach, I think it's something you should consider watching. It was one of those shows that I think I would like if I watched it, but I avoided watching it because I it was Jersey I Shore. I love Jersey Shore. <laughs> G give, give me give me a synopsis of an episode. Like, what kind of adventures do they get into? Um... Okay, uh, let's see. A good episode, a good episode. Well, yeah, everyone loves the episode where Snucky gets fucking clobbered in the face oh, by a huge man. The <laughs> They're all at this bar, and then this guy is stealing their drinks, and she's like, Um, you big ugly loser, stop! And he just punches her in the face, <laughs> and she screams, and everyone starts like, Oh, that guy's life is ruined, by the way. Oh, did, did he- well, he probably got arrested, yeah, right? Yeah, he got arrested, and it ruined his life. I think he got kicked out of college and all of this other shit. That's what happens when you punch a five foot one tall <laughs> yeah, she's woman. She's literally, I think she's four he, foot one if, or some if he, shit. If I was that guy, <laughs> I would write a book. <laughs> I would write a book about the tactile sensation of my fucking knuckles glancing off of Snooky's face. There is one nice guy, a really nice guy. Who is it? It's called Vinny. What does he do? He slouches and he thinks about his mom a lot. Does he give oh, eggs to orphans? I love my mommy. He's like, I miss my mom. <laughs> I miss my family. He's got a really gross uncle called Uncle Gianni. Oh no, not Uncle Gianni. Uncle. Uncle, fuck! What's his name? Yeah. Uncle. So very I, I can't believe I forgot this. Never mind. He's got a gross uncle. Why is the it. uncle? Why is he gross? There's a twist and turn coming right here. By Who the cares? By the We're body. talking about Jersey talking Shore. About the big gross yeah, I know. I'm trying to take us off of that because I know that nobody gives a fuck <laughs> okay, about Lyle. what the uncle from Jersey Shore's name is. <laughs> Jersey Shore, Uncle, <laughs> Uncle. I'm gonna fall down the stairs. Uncle Nino, that was it. Uncle Nino. He's like, I'm Uncle Nino. Ah! Did I show you that porn video that I clicked by at random and the nostalgia code was playing the whole time in the background yeah, loudly? Yeah, that's fucking amazing. <laughs> loudly. Yeah. And somebody in the comments was like, Is that Doug Walker? The the, the, the porn artist was like, Yeah, we love we love the nostalgia critic. He's my favorite. That's so fucked. <laughs> Drake, it's me, Lankara. I've come to break you out of prison. I've come to help you. Come with me. You've come if to you break want me to out live. of prison? Yes. Get up on my back and I'll <laughs> run real fast towards the camera. They stole our ad set. We have to get it back. Just wait a goddamn Turn off ad block and watch a bunch of my videos and I'll let you out of jail. Please stop totally on ad block. It's not helping. You're selfish. Drake, we're trying to make the history of Power Rangers Part 7. It'll come out when it comes out. Stop asking about it. I want to make the history of Power Rangers Part 7. <laughs> the history of Power Rangers Part 7. Great. I want my video and I want it now. <laughs> <laughs>
Leave me alone, Nathan Drake. I know you're the biggest the top the fourth wall fan there is, but leave me alone. <laughs> Hello, I'm, I'm on the edge of my seat. I'm I'm on the edge of my seat for the return of Red on season 98 of the I Am Game the Lamer. Evil. Oh, Evil Gamer, dude. My favorite thing in, in shitty video game or movie review, any kind of review, is where the evil version comes in. It's just them in black clothing. It's the funniest <laughs> fucking trope. I want more of it. Did you know that in World War Wizzle, uh, they got this thing called trench foot? Where they stop in a, in a trench and they t take out their foot and their foot was twice as big. World War Wizzle, the most <laughs> lit war. <laughs> Do you know there's Chucky's an episode of Rograt? Yeah, have you seen the episode of Rograt's where Chucky's mom rots in a fucking oven? <laughs> Chucky opens the thing and he goes, ah! And his dad's like, Chucky, Bobby's ah! becoming Chucky. Bobby's becoming a ham. She fell into the oven, my son. Chucky, your mom fell in there two years ago and I've been too afraid to open it ever since. <laughs> These flowers will feed off your mother's body for she four years. She just like years. falls into, like she falls down the stairs into the basement and breaks, <laughs> breaks <laughs> both her legs and he's like, no, I'm afraid of the dark. And I'm she's afraid. like, Chaz, Chaz, help me. He's like, no, it's scary down there. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. He fucking like I closes the Sadly, door and starts hyperventilating and just never opens it again. Did you, did you guys ever see the episode where Tommy like scratches his eye after touching the dirt and his eye like swells up for two seasons? He has to, <laughs> he has to wear an eye patch. He has to get his eye removed. <laughs> he, <has> to, <laughs> he gets a fake eye. Stu makes a new eye that's uh... <laughs> that's a, a gum he's and, got, like, he's got disgusting eye medicine that he doesn't understand. They have to like hold him down and put it into his eye and he just streaks the whole time. He's inventing a new time. eyeball for his son. A he he develops eyeball. trust issues. <laughs> against his own parents and they're just trying to help him. Stu hangs the eye down on a string from the ceiling to test it out and then Tommy wanders in and he starts spinning around on it. And he says, Tommy, don't move, I have an idea. And he lowers the eyeball <laughs> into his skull. <laughs> <laughs> that guy's dead now. He why doesn't do, even care. Why'd he do that for us? He goes, I'm mean! I'm being mean! I hope nobody is watching this with binoculars because they would have gotten a very mean first impression of me! I bet this is... A pre he has a big cutscene. creepy grin on his face. Look at him. Mm. Lyle, if you Where? were a game reviewer back in the day, would you say Nathan Drake leaps onto the PlayStation 2 <laughs> with this new game? That Nathan. depends on if I had to say that by contract, if somebody else wrote it. No, like, am, if, I, am I making the game review or am yeah, I Adam Sessler on X-Play? It's up to you. Yeah, yeah, no, you're, you're, you're the new Adam Sessler. Okay, well, I don't think they they <laughs> wrote the actual game reviews on X Play, so I, mean. I would have to say it. It would be on a tele. A it would be on a teleprompter. Master. There'd be a man just off camera with a, with a, a gun to my wife's head, and they'd say, "Read, read the read line." These funny little Nathan Drake jumps onto the PS3. Leaps, leaps. leaps. Lyle, did There's anybody ever do like a really funny parody where you see Goatsy when you put the ring on? <laughs> okay, some uh, mm -hmm. so the, the ring is like the most powerful ring, right? Yes. All it does is make you invisible. You know what? There is a deep lore to it. There's like, there's a fucking 17,000 page book by... Someone probably is screaming at their computer screen right now. <laughs> there, there actually is an answer. If somebody knows it, if one of you fucking cross-eyed freaks in the chat knows all fucking one trillion words of J.R. Well, Tolkien. because it was, it was a weird plot you detail know what? in The Lyle, Hobbit. It, Lyle, wasn't, Lyle. it wasn't originally planned to be this big it thing, It might right? make mortals invisible, but it makes Sauron powerful. You fucking idiot. That's the effect on you mortals. Fucking you idiot. fucking idiot. Also... Speaking of stupid gifts that are really stupid, have you seen the gif of the little kids from Jurassic Park looking scared in the car and there's big juicy asses bouncing on the windows? <laughs> it's really funny. One, yeah. <laughs> you know, they actually do keep it ambiguous for the first couple of games, yeah. but then the third one they like whip no, out no, cell No, they phones. don't. No, they don't, Lyle. What? No. They're on they... a jet ski in the first fucking game, you oh, fucking idiot. Is there? Oh, when you, you, it's the first, first cutscene, you was fucking the jet ski oh, invented. You stupid oh, ring. Oh, jet ski 1925, no. Ah, how y'all? Do you think Elon Musk's car is eventually Actually gonna fall back to Earth and kill someone. <laughs> I, think I think it's gonna fall on Brianna Wu. She was right the whole time. If it fell on Brianna Wu, at least she'd get a free Tesla. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, just Google search Brianna Wu dust. It's the funniest picture you're ever gonna see in your life. Dust? It's a picture of her. It's, it's a, like yeah, a, it's, it's her like deteriorating like a witch. She's turning <laughs> to dust. No, no, she's in front of, like, she's in front of, uh, she's in front of, like, a, a big shelf full of, like, toys, and there's an inch of dust on every- it's disgusting. Did you know that all the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, their names are based on Hollywood actors, like Leonardo is Holocaust named after- survivors. Named after Leonardo DiCaprio. <laughs> oh, Chris, oh, no. <laughs> the great Holocaust survivor, Raphael. Yeah, no. <laughs> that's yeah, why, uh, you, that's you, why the yellow one's name is Anne Frank. If you oh, look at the 
Schindler's it, List, it's all it's the Ninja Leonardo, Turtles, Leonardo, Donatello, <laughs> and Frank and Raphael. And Frank Turtle. <laughs> I'm glad somebody finally put Anne Frank in a place. Somebody needs to take her down a fucking bag. Dude, I'm <laughs> the Ben Shapiro of destroying Holocaust survivors you with my, guys, with my searing intellect. Call it, call it Lyle destroys Anne Frank. <laughs> Takes down Liptard and Frank. <laughs> Do you guys know what knife party is? No. no. Uh, it's actually it's actually fucking pendulum, which I love pendulum. I don't really like knife party. Yeah. But uh yeah, they started making shitty easy uh EDM music uh or I, I don't know. Dubstep? I don't know what you'd classify it as. I, I guess it would be EDM. But yeah, they start. Pendulum started making EDM music and it blew up more for them, so they're, they're Knife Party. Uh, and yeah, basically they made this this song and it, it's got a sample in it that's just like got. It's like, you blocked me on Facebook and now you're going to die. And then it just goes. <laughs> <laughs> And I could not escape that fucking sample. Like everybody at EDC, there were like six stages. You'd leave one and be like, going, bah, bah, be like fading off into the background. Like, bah, 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 bah. That's really weird. Like uh, you get you like start approaching the next one. You, bah, 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 bah. Did I ever? Did I ever, did I ever tape it? The worst image I ever saw. What? It was a guy who shat big. Long, smooth, solid shits into condoms, and he tied knots at the ends, and he put them into freezers and froze them, and then he takes them out, and he, he bites into them. Ah! Like big popsicles. Isn't least, that a thing? Isn't there's there's a thing like where you like it's called like shit buttering, and you basically do that, and you like that is the, you find like a tub of butter or something, and you put oh you put it in ah, there. I know about that one. <laughs> Why? That's the cruelest thing. I would stop being so much fun the game. <laughs> you guys know about blind staring? No. Or you just uh, push a blind person down the stairs and then you scream pranked? What's 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 your lowest threshold for sawing someone's head off? <laughs> lowest Wait, threshold? What? Like, what's what the what's the least somebody could do to make you want to saw their head off? Like if somebody tortured your parents, would you saw their head off? Oh yeah, yeah, probably. So my say my point is, what's the lowest the lowest thing you would do to saw someone's head off, Lyle? As opposed, like, do I have a choice of anything else, or is, is no, my saw, only saw option head off? Saw it off specifically. Yeah. I mean, I. Okay, maybe this is a better question for you. Is there a big gap between I would kill this person and I would saw this person's head off? No, or but they... sawing the head off is the interesting part because killing them with a little a little BB gun or something is, is you know that's easy. I mean, I don't know. I don't. I don't think. Sex, it's what is with your hypotheticals? Yeah, this this one's kind of. Why would I do that first off to begin with? How much would you have to get paid if uh, if you you went a trip to hang out with Ryan Gosling in his uh, mansion, right? And his little brother's there too. No, it's just Ryan. It's just you, you and Ryan time, right? Uh, but uh, that Willy Wonka evil guy comes up. And he's like, I want you to call him Stinky. Wait, which evil guy? Which, <laughs> wait, 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 which evil guy? <laughs> wait, wait, the Willy so Wonka a, man. A creature comes Willy out Wonka? of, no, of no. Ryan Gosling's cupboard, <laughs> no. and he says, "I want you to call Ryan Gosling Stinky. Well, no, I want to hear Perform yeah. this task, yeah, and exactly. great wealth awaits you." Exactly. So, wait, wait, say, so say it again. I was focused on the evil man from Willy Wonka. I'm trying to think of yeah, the evil man. He's the guy who comes out of the shadow. He's like, I want you to steal the Gobstoppers thingy. I want you to steal the secret formula. But this guy comes out and he says, instead of calling him Ryan, I want you to call him Stinky all day. What would you, what um, would you do if you woke up one day and uh, things felt a little bit weird for like a month mm -hmm. and you first figured out the only thing you knew about this universe was nobody knew who Will Smith was? <laughs> like you said, like everything else is normal, but you said... Hey, you said the Will Smith movie, and they're like, who's, I don't know who that is. <laughs> Nobody understands his name. You could do so much. You could write the Wild Wild West rap. No, he exists in this universe, too, but nobody knows who he is. So, in other words, if you wrote the Wild Wild West <laughs> rap, would, Will Smith would sue you. Yes, yes, you get no benefits. But you get to meet him? You get to hang out with yeah, Will but, Smith? Yeah, but who cares? You just get to be friends with Will but Smith. But he's like really depressed. He's just some guy. But you know he's a nice guy, and you know he's got potential, yeah, so you, you know can help him. Yeah, you know the strength of the strength. No, of he's his already character. Will Smith in this universe, but nobody knows who Will Smith is. Exactly, so you, you could can be make Will Smith's agent. Yeah. No, yeah. but 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 he's already been in all these movies. So you say you would help spread the word of Will Smith in this universe? You, oh, so you wouldn't want, like. I, I mean, I guess that's what an agent he's been, does, and right? He's the same. He's been bit in every movie that he has in this timeline, every TV right. show. Right. But nobody knows who Will Smith is. So would you not just tell people who he is, and maybe the, they it, go, "Oh, okay." Okay. You could buy the rights to all his <laughs> but movies. What are, you, what are you getting from that, though? 
You tell me, you Zach. Get, you're the one you who made this horrible my, situation. My, my, my point is, you'd give up after like the second or third person. You'd say, there's no fucking point anymore to tell the world who Will Smith is. I'm not getting anything out of this. <laughs> What, what, like, would you not want to just curiously just hang out with him for a bit? He's still, but he, that's like saying you can So you're saying the only, the <laughs> only reason you would hang out with Will Smith is you because he's famous. You can't hang out, but you can't hang out with him. He's Will Smith from this universe, yeah, too. Will but Smith nobody, is famous nobody, for yeah, reasons exactly. that are cool. He doesn't have that jaded, famous <laughs> but has, person but thing he has, where he's... No, no, but he has all the money that he has now, so he's not just gonna hang with anybody. Wait, he has- he's paid- Well then fuck him! Well, no, cause how would he get well, paid? What would he do? Like, why would he fuck him? Will you do anything? Well, why would- like, why would I even care about him then? <laughs> I, I would know. write a fucking <laughs> book about this parallel mirror universe where a man who nobody knows is booking these huge Hollywood ro roles. <laughs> If in because this, he's a yeah, that sounds like some. I, I would probably just get called crazy. You would get called crazy, so exactly. So you do nothing in this universe. Yo, uh, Lyle, do you even see the subsurface scattering going on right now? <laughs> Fuck me, no, man. I, Lyle, not, you I'm, literally I'm do level. not notice the subsurface scattering on their <laughs> fucking palms. You don't fucking fuck pretend idiot. like you know <laughs> what that is. He knows what it is. It's when sunlight hits your fingers. It's when sunlight your bleeds through. It's when light it's like, bleeds it's like through. It's like you take a big nasty flashlight and stick it up yeah, your belly. Yeah, hold your hand up to a bright light, you'll see the subsurface scattering of it the finger red. webbing. I'm gonna fucking subsurface scatter your guts around this stupid so fucking room. Subsurface scatter your cum all over my asshole. Would you get surgery that costs, uh, let's say twenty thousand dollars to turn your dick into a working gun, and your dick still works the same way, but now it is also a gun? If if stricter gun laws get passed, can the government seize my dick? No. If I go through airport security, no, you're like, you're like, do you're I like, have to take it off? You can't you're go like, through airport like, security. Like so I never get to fly again? Never again. But my dick is a gun? Your dick is a gun now. But you're, ro you're like RoboCop or Inspector Gadget. You're like kind of outside the government. <laughs> you're, like, you're like the Avengers. They don't okay. like you, but they can, can't, they can, can't can stop you. Can we talk you. about how you just grouped RoboCop and Inspector They're Gadget? They're the same species. <laughs> <laughs> I want to reach to the TV, grab that blade, and stick it inside of you. You wish that you could do that. <laughs> I would grab that spinning blade from the virtual world and pierce you. It's not even a 3D object, it's a PNG sequence. So fuck you. That's Is it? Fucking... I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm probably like 99% sure that was just a 3D model. <laughs> spinning around. A lot of games save on memory by using PNG sequences when they don't need 3D models. Even today? Even still? Pro I don't know. <laughs> I'm making I this up. I can see that big thing like the, in the Super Nintendo days. I've been using. Well, I mean, no, that's, that's what that's Donkey Kong Country is. That's Donkey Kong Country is a bunch of fucking. Uh, I, I don't know about say. specifically PNG files, but it's. Uh, it's a bunch of MP3s turned up way high. <laughs> yeah, to, so the sound <laughs> sonically creates the 3D Donkey model Kong, of Donkey, Donkey Kong. Donkey Kong is a .mov file. <laughs> Did you know that uh, communism actually ain't so bad after all? Communism? Did you know that that uh, the Red Scare actually invented the word communism? Before that, it was called hemp. <laughs> And, uh, it was threatening the lumber industry. The Red Scare was just the PNG sequence of the Red Devil <laughs> and Chicken going, <laughs> Can we ask all of you on behalf of us to go fucking desecrate and defile every cow and chicken, uh, wiki, uh, wiki page and please change his name to the Red Character. <laughs> yeah. I don't want one page on the internet that has his name as Red Man. It would be cool to have some kind of, like... What the to, fuck? To do that? To just fall through reality? <laughs> yeah, I agree. That would be really great. You ever gotten sued by the Super Bowl? <laughs> no, but I want to. <laughs> we should try to. Hey, Super, did you guys hear about the Super Bowl? With the Super, who's, who endorses the Super Bowl? Uh, Adolf Hitler's grandson. Adolf Hitler sent a message in a bottle into the future. He said, yeah, he said, and he, he said, I, you I really... This Dear future, I, I support the Super Bowl. Thank you very much. <laughs> There's an episode of Keeping Up with the Kardashians where a huge ass tarantula crawls onto Kim Kardashian's hand and she slaps it to death. <laughs> <laughs> what? That is not real. <laughs> it would be good if it was. <laughs> Have you seen the one where she. <laughs> I, I would watch that it, show she... if it was like. It sheerly consisted of exotic insects. Have you seen the crawling the onto Kim Kardashian and Have you seen the episode where killed? she fights a little garden snake and she starts stepping on his neck? <laughs> She starts smushing it with her big high heels. Wow, that's nice. Hey, check it out. Marco. <laughs> I wonder where you're supposed to climb right there. Uh, is, it, is it maybe those... Whoa. Wow, <laughs> all right. What the heck, Lyle? Watch out, you're getting shot right at. Look, if I want to have oh, a bullet yeah. in my face, that is my prerogative. And uh, I... I... Rue that you think that you can have jurisdiction over my agency 
to uh, ingest lead through my forehead. Well, do you remember you met that beautiful woman at a party? You started singing banana phone from Newgrounds. <laughs> Yeah, and she, she blew me away. on the spot. No, she she, she blew you off. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you apologizing for not watching? Because people are going to call us pussies now. Hey guys, you I don't know. Wait, what, what is this us talk? I never fucking said I well, was on board I've with this. I've seen you getting sick at the sight of a of a rear. Lyle, yeah, that's because every time I come to your house, you're fucking spread eagle when you open no. the door. You need to stop doing that to me. Lyle, I saw we've you. We've talked about this. I didn't want to drag this out. One, you on walked the episode, over but uninvited. You, you've Lyle, two you, made you, me. You I didn't even wait a second. To see if it was me, my ass. All you saw was my ass. You did not know it was me. Lyle, Could have been a girl. Look, you, you just you brought us to this restaurant. I'm just ordering from the menu. All right. What? He's like, hey, you kiss you. Um, oh. I'll watch. She's got the little the little perfect tummy. The brunette does. Oh. Last year's model. You fucking playboy. Bit of a fucking cat fight. Glad you find this so funny. Wow. She'd rip off her hair. You she'd rip off that fucking her. wig and show the world <laughs> once and for all what she's hiding. I want to see that guy with the hat with the shirt off. Oh. <laughs> that was like the perfect oh. reaction. Oh. This character is kind of like a rip off of Chris Pratt. Yeah, they should have called him Nathan Fake. <laughs> they should have called him Nathan 3D Polygons. Guys, um, if you just like the video because of what I just said. <laughs> I'm gonna be reporting every single uh, YouTube account, and even if you make second profiles, trace the IP. I'm gonna, I'm gonna trace all of your fucking IPs. I think his name is actually Jeff. Ugh, carry the camera around. I'm really tired of carrying this fucking camera around. <laughs> well, if you wanted to be really funny and like get a lot of retweets, you'd say my name is Jeff from. Um, my name Jeff. That one. Yeah, yeah, from uh, from Twenty One Twenty One Jump Street. Is that what that's from? I think so. Right. Is it? I thought it was. I've there? seen that movie and I didn't even remember that. Yes. Remember when you and Niall found the John C. Riley woman? Lyle, that's a great thing that you just brought up. <laughs> <laughs> Lyle, you're always so good at bringing things up that are not anything besides what you just said. Yeah, it's almost like you guys followed up huh? on it and then specifically requested that it be cut out. <laughs> Would you fuck Elvis Mago, Lyle? Would I fucking what? Would you fuck Elvis Mago? I don't know what that is. Alma Smego is this, <laughs> this lady that uh, Zach and Adam, our friend, found online, and she's... she's how, I, how I found it was I went to PornMD, which by the way is a great website, because PornMD is a site that compiles all the porn sites. So you type, you type in like, uh, like, shit can be out of ass or whatever, just beautiful <laughs> Japanese girl smiling and saying, I love you, whatever you want to type in, man. You type it in and it, goes, it gives you like, oh, you porn, porn up, all X videos. Gives you everything. But so I went there and I typed in like ugly stupid bitch. I was like, I wonder if anybody's just <laughs> just made a really horrible title on this on any of these sites. Mm. And one of the titles was like stupid fat ugly bitch Alma Smego uh, sucking dick. And I was like, what her name is A L M A S M E G O Alma Smego. That's her name. But like th there's a bunch of great titles like what a surprise, Alma Smego is sucking cock once again. <laughs> and then there's one called, <laughs> this is an ongoing series, yes, is what you're telling called, me. Called what fat, a surprise. <laughs> there's one called Fat Blubbery Piece of Shit, Alma Smego. <laughs> there's like all these titles. No, you want to know the funny thing about that one? Right, right, <laughs> we, we were on PornMD and we were like, let's look up funny words. I typed in blubbering and she came up straight away after we found her. <laughs> she, she fucking... Have you talked about the one you showed a couple days ago? Oh, the fucking the scary little alien? The little alien guy? I've, I've talked about that before. <laughs> Wait, what? There's a there's a real f video of an alien on a porn website. <laughs> so they, Where these well, two dude, lesbians dude. are fucking each other, and then an alien walks in and, and gets his little peanut dick sucked, and he walks <laughs> out like he's, he's doesn't bored. know what happened. Yeah. <laughs> So maybe like a noise and it, and he, he, it is, his attention. is it like framed like oh this just happened and they rolled with it yeah no no it it's really creepy it starts off uh, like it starts off in the pitch black of night and you're, they're walking with a flashlight towards a scary mansion then it goes inside the mansion and there's two lesbians just eat, eating each other out and stuff and then like ten minutes go by and then a weird little alien just walks in and he starts like crawling under the bed like a weird little puppy would. <laughs> And then he just starts, he starts getting going, his dicks. Oh, oh, oh. No, he's he's literally his his noises are like. He's also he's what he's doing. He's like a foot and a half tall, right? Yeah, he's def he's an alien who stole the skin of a human. Uh, he's got that little one strand of hair sticking up too. Yeah, he's like alfalfa. <laughs> did you just solve the puzzle? Yeah, I did. Alma Smego solves the puzzle. Alma Smego solves the puzzle to life. Rancid heart. fat bitch. Alma Smego Stupid. solves uncharted two so, puzzle. So is is the 
Have you ever actually so guys, clicked could, the guys, videos, somebody, or were, were you just fucking like somebody, horrified? Somebody and... please cut this part of the video out and upload it to Pornhub and call, call it "stupid fucking bitch." Lyle <laughs> Lyle Smego solves the puzzle. <laughs> Just because you look sleepy sometimes doesn't mean we don't want to see your tits. Would you climb up this big golden knife already? To fuck up a smego? Yeah, she's at the top. <laughs> well, <laughs> if you would have just she's said that really from the right. start, I'd be up there already. Sully, we gotta find Alma Smegmo. <laughs> it's Smego. Smego. You, you, Alma Smegmo is her sister. Alma Smegmo is the Wait, evil twin. Wait, am I twin. supposed to be aiming at that? Alma Maybe Smegmo I'm supposed to be aiming like, at Alma Smegmo scratched her back. Yeah, that seems more like what I'm supposed to be doing. <laughs> of a TV show, a, a little clone came off of that. We gotta find the lost Alma, Alma Smegmo idol. <laughs> Alma Smegmo is a Pokemon. <laughs> Man, has there ever been a funny joke where he's like Drake from Drake and Josh? That would be funny. Can somebody edited uh, Drake. No, can somebody edited Josh. Wait. Holy yeah. shit, dude. T-shirt. T-shirt idea? T-shirt idea. Guys, go to Shark Robot. Go to buy Shark Robot <laughs> and buy, <laughs> buy the Drake, the Nathan, Nathan Drake, Drake and Josh T-shirt! Yes, Chris, let's do a commercial for right now. Hi, everybody. I'm going to ShockRobot.com. And buy the Nathan Drake T-shirt. Go ahead. Go ahead. It's a Drake and Josh yeah. crossover. Oh, yeah. And uh, when we thought the idea, we were smoking weed. We thought the idea, we thought it would be funny. Let <laughs> me spit on my mic. <laughs> <laughs> we thought it would be funny if um, Drake and Josh... Uh, um, Nathan Drake. If they had Nathan Drake. If he from the second game specifically. Yeah, specific game. And he was climbing around, but then uh, Josh from Drake and Josh, from Nickelodeon's Drake and Josh was there. And he, he says, spherical. He says, spherical. And then uh, there's a really big foot. And wouldn't it be funny if uh, they put ketchup on their feet? Whoa. And you can buy that at ShokerBot.com. And Dan Schneider will hand mail it to you personally. <laughs> he's, gonna, he's gonna run you. And, and he'll say, guys, isn't this funny? Wouldn't it be funny? <laughs> Didn't you guys have your internet, like, shut down because you got caught? <laughs> it was because some stupid bitch in our house at the time downloaded Mary Poppins or something. <laughs> <laughs> she downloaded um, Saving Mr. Banks and then blamed everyone else. <laughs> In a house of fucking like seven or eight guys, yeah, who yeah. the fuck downloaded Saving Mr. Banks? And, she, and she fucking got mad at everybody. She left cereal out, and then uh, maggots got into it, and then moths started appearing all over the house. <laughs> and every night, I'd hear Corey fucking smashing them against the wall, going, FUCK! And, and one time he had, like, he had like a blue moon bottle, a beer in his room, <laughs> and there was like 60 of them. They all, they all it, was like a, it was like a trap. They would all fly into there and die. Yeah. <laughs> And then he Did was he like, just leave it then? Well, yeah, one night he was screaming. I just ran in, ran up to his door. I was like, Corey, shut the fuck up! And he was like, there's just moths everywhere. I'm like, I don't care. <laughs> and then, uh, fucking a few days later, she was literally on the floor in the crying. kitchen in the fetal position crying. We're like, what's wrong? And she's like, what do you mean, what's wrong? Look up! And we looked up, and there's maggots <laughs> crawling across the roof. We were like, there was like two. Yeah, we were like, like two little okay. maggots. We were like, <laughs> okay. We were like, this is your fault. It's like, <laughs> like no one else buys fucking cereal here. Well, you she's, fucking she's, nut. She... Can we tell the one story about one time we went to a party and uh, her brother was there, and <laughs> and uh, we were all uh, watching the TV. Like, like whenever we, what were we watching? We, we were watching Babies Falling Over compilation on oh. YouTube, and the brother walks in. And he goes, what are you watching? We're like, baby's falling over, take a seat. And he sat down, and he got really fucking mad. And he was, he was like, give me the controller. Yeah, he's like, give me the controller, I'm sick of this shit. And we were just like, uh, everyone else is having fun, but okay. And we gave him the controller, and he put on honest trailers. And then nobody was, like, like laughing, and everyone just started talking over it. And he got mad, he stood <laughs> up. Did he look like this? Did he have half of his face burned off? No, nah, he looked he's normal. Going, it's time to put on all this trailer. <laughs> no, Lyle. He really hated babies falling over. He really hated babies falling over, and he walks out of the room. This that, is him with the remote. And, and, uh, <laughs> uh, so he walks back in, and we're all watching a really, really gory horror movie. I don't remember what it was. And there's someone on, on TV getting stabbed in the stomach over and over. And he walks in and he goes, what, what the hell is this? And then Zach turns around and goes, Son, it goes to the real world, dude. <laughs> and then I went, like that. And he looks at me and he's like, yo, Chris, just so you know. And he looked over at a girl. He's like... A girl, I, by the way, he tried to hit on her. He bunch. tried hitting on her. He tried actually bringing her into the woods to hit on her. Yeah. He goes, I, I would never hit her, but... I, I would lay into you. And I was just like, what? He's like, I, I would never hit her, but I'd lay into you. And I'm like, okay. And then he walked away. And then he walked away all <laughs> flustered. 
It was the weirdest fucking encounter. <laughs> it was so fucking weird. It was just genuinely bizarre. Everybody walked out like, did that just happen? Did he just throw a punch you? Everyone I, tried ignoring it because it was so weird. It just it didn't make any sense logically. I, I kept <laughs> saying, like, did that? Wait, so <laughs> yeah. I, I was like, I was like, I heard everything just happened, but you're telling me I said so something goes to the real world, happened. and this guy said he would not punch a girl, but he would punch Chris, and he left? <laughs> it, it, that, was, he, that was the sequence he, of events, He though. should have said that to you for making if fun anything, of him. If anything, if anything, yeah. <laughs> it made no fucking sense. He was just mad at me for some reason. <laughs> I'm gonna read my special book. Take a look right here about Ugh. what a big boy I am. That's where the I'm gonna go, wacko and I'm gonna go do the yoga. <laughs> <laughs> you do realize you're a cartoon. I know. <laughs>